you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel I am gold pony I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the new 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLA courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown Maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so having recently reviewed the a class by mercedes-benz this essentially is the next step up from that so i did want to check this one out of course very good looking vehicle plenty of changes for 2020 this essentially is a four-door coupe reason being there's actually frameless doors i'll show you guys that a little later in the video but before i get ahead of myself what do you say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing it's a pricing for the cla 250 we'll We'll start at $36,650. For the Formatic or the all-wheel drive version, that starts at $38,650. Regardless, power plant is going to be the same though. Powering this beast is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 221 horsepower, 5,800 RPM, 258 pound-feet of torque available from the power band of 1,800 to 4,000 RPM. Power again sent to front wheels or all wheels through a seven speed dual clutch with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. Nonetheless, zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.3 seconds. MPG numbers 23 city, 33 highway taking premium unleaded fuel. And there is that auto start stop system, of course, meaning when you're stopped at a red light or a stop sign, engine will shut off. There is a button just below the engine start button to turn that feature off if that started to annoy you, but it is there as a fuel safety measure so that I suppose is a good thing as well but before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or anything like that I did want to mention there are some drive modes that drive mode button labeled dynamic select is located just to the left of the touchpad controller that will include eco comfort and sport adjusting things like the throttle response shift points steering sensitivity and the eco start stop system but so having said that I think it is now time let's do a quick little paddle shifter test here to start just want to see how quickly they react for us so let me find a straightaway and let's give that a shot. All right, you guys, here we go. Dang. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing has got to get up and go. Paddle shifters are instantaneous. Absolutely love it. Wow, that was fun. Definitely going to have some fun in the back roads in this thing if you were to use the paddle shifters. They're also, of course, there for engine braking when it starts the snow out. But dang, those things react quick. So wow absolutely no issues with reaction times when it comes to those paddle shifters that was actually more than i expected so well done mercedes beds for that but now having done that i think it's time let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's do a quick little acceleration test what do you know we found a straightaway here in five good braking four three two one go oh my goodness yeah sometimes with turbocharged engines you guys there's turbo lag there is no turbo lag here that is wonderful absolutely love that instant acceleration instant power to the ground no slippage because we got the formatic all-wheel drive system that was brilliant absolutely no issues with merging onto the highway plenty of acceleration i know a lot of people are going to be wondering it's the 250 is not going to be enough power yes i can tell you it is enough power certainly definitely for merging onto the highway and even for having some fun as well that was plenty of power for the cla so once again well done mercedes-benz but as always, to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.6 inch rear disc. Perforated front disc with painted calipers if you were to go with one of the AMG line packages. So that's always a plus. As far as the braking feel goes, like I mentioned earlier, braking feel is perfectly fine. Certainly no issues with bringing the CLI to a stop here. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension, in the back independent multi-link rear suspension, and according to Mercedes-Benz, the CLA has been tuned for an excellent balance of comfort and sportiness. And I will say it is a pretty comfortable ride so far, so we'll attest to that, but lowered comfort suspension comes with the AMG line packages, so it is going to be lowered slightly for better aerodynamics, also better looks of course, but I like how they throw in their comfort suspension as well, because a lot of times when you lower a car, it kind of sacrifices ride quality. So that's a plus that they kind of went for the best of both worlds there. Direct steer system, again, coming with the AMG line packages that adjust the steering ratio, provides a quicker steering with lighter effort. And I will say though, even though we don't have one of the AMG line packages, as far as that steering ratio goes, I pulled into a gas station to do a little turnaround back there. One of the best turning radiuses I've experienced in quite a long time. I feel like this thing turns on a dime when you're at slow speed, so insane 
insane, insane turning radius on this thing. So if you have to move around in tight spaces in the CLA, this car is made for you because it really is quite impressive. Out of the 500 plus cars I've reviewed, this is one of the best when it comes to the turning radius, I will say that. Do you want to also mention though, there is an adaptive damping suspension available for $850. That's usually an option I recommend to people just because it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, but it also tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering again, giving you the best of both worlds. So for only $850, that really isn't a bad option there if you ask me. But so overall, when it comes to the ride quality, like I was saying earlier, it's perfectly fine. It's as expected for the CLA 250. Steering feel is definitely nice. I will say that it's gonna be better with the AMG line packages, but it's not that bad. It does have a nice weight to it. No dead spots in the steering or anything like that. Instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. So I certainly am satisfied with the CLA 250 steering feel. When it comes to cabin noise, that's just fine as well. Again, I'm getting a little bit of climate control noise, but that's really about it. So a little bit of engine noise too, which I do like. I'm always a fan of the engine noise, especially when you really get into it. But overall, everything is fine there as well. Touching on visibility, although it is a sloped roof line, I can still see plenty fine out the back. So certainly no issues there for me. Visibility is just fine. Rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard as well. Wanted to mention that. Meaning when the CLA starts to detect any kind of mist or rainfall, it will automatically turn on those windshield wipers. One less thing you got to worry about there. And a head-up display is going to be available for $1,100 if you wanted to go that route, projecting your speed and the speed limit for that matter onto your windshield. So a little better visibility when it comes to that too. But that about rounds up the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. All right, here she is, you guys. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250 finished in Iridium Silver Metallic, in case anybody was curious there. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Gloss black front grille is the standard configuration on the 250. Diamond block front grille with a chrome finish is going to come with the AMG line packages. There is an illuminated star available for $450 if you wanted to go that route as well. Also with those AMG line packages, you will get a unique front bumper. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights come to the sides. That is the standard configuration. They of course will come with the automatic feature as well meaning when it starts to get dark and at night they will turn on automatically for you there there is an exterior lighting package i wanted to mention that that goes for 900 dollars that gives you adaptive led lighting and adaptive high beam assist so adaptive led lighting meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or some other kind of animal basically but headlight design also changed for the 2020 model year to more of a sleeker look in my opinion opinion so I did want to mention that that is one of the changes for the 2020 CLA 250 but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side first thing I wanted to mention chrome window surrounds coming standard on the CLA 250 body colored power adjustable side mirrors that will be heated with integrated turret signals actually as well and again you are looking at a four-door coupe silhouette meaning if I were to open one of these rear doors or even the front doors for that matter it will be a frameless design so just like a coupe would be essentially so that is pretty cool I like that taking a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch multi spoke alloys will be the standard configuration amg line packages will give you 18 inch double five spoke design and there are some 19 inch wheel designs available as well also the side skirts are going to change ever so slightly if you were to go with one of those amg line packages as well so i did want to mention that but so now since we are round back typically i'll mention a shark fin antenna but surprisingly the cla does not have one i don't know it's kind of a sleeker design so i don't mind it but anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the back here rear spoiler is optional for 300 $50. We of course don't have it here today, but you can get one if you wanted it. LED taillights is the standard setup. They definitely look good in the back there. Just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next back here. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
heads up now since we are round back when it comes to opening that rear trunk there actually is a button on the key fob that is one way you can go about doing it but the way i would go about doing it because this is really cool it's kind of like what volkswagen does essentially if you just press in within the mercedes-benz logo it's like secret agent style you just press in there nobody knows that that's the way you open the trunk and that actually opens it up for you so that's pretty darn cool that's the way i would do it but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 11.6 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it there are also tie down anchors found in that cargo area there's some netted side pockets and there's a 12 volt power outlet back there if you needed it then make our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 33.9 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there rear ventilation also comes standard back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders you have a couple phone charging ports with a little bit of storage space and as expected some front seat back mat pockets back there as well although nobody uses maps anymore but nonetheless make your way to the front seats eight-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar you do actually have memory settings for up to three different drivers that comes standard that's pretty cool adjustable cushion length in the front of the seats that's also pretty cool you don't always see that on sedans integrated headrest into the front seat so it's essentially a one-piece design it's not separate so it's kind of a more of a race car style seat so i do like that as well heated front seats add 580 dollars if you wanted to go that route you can get heated and ventilated front seats for $1,030. They are available there as well. And the seats are plenty comfortable. That was one of the first things I noticed. Very, very comfortable seats in the CLA 250. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. It is a flat bottom if you go with one of the AMG line packages. But since we don't have that today, we have your standard circular steering wheel, of course. Heated steering wheel goes for $250. That is an available option if you wanted to go that route as well. Now take a look at the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. All of your buttons are located on one side of the key. You do have lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch. However, it is all keyless entry. So simply just leave the key in your pocket, walk up to the CLA. There is a push button start located just to the left of the three climate control vents. So all I'm going to do, is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but once started up, as far as the gauge cluster goes, a seven inch digital gauge cluster is the standard set. Setup. However, there is a premium package that is available for $1,650. We do have that package today. Therefore, that is going to add along with other things, of course, a 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster, and that is going to be mirrored with the tech display as well. And we'll get into that in a second, but touching on the gauge cluster with that 10 and a quarter inch design, love that by the way definitely an option i would recommend if you're going this route but it is completely customizable of course you can check out your outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty you can make a larger digital gauge setup in the middle if you wanted that but my favorite part about really all mercedes-benz gauge clusters when it comes to the bigger design there is an option titled designs and display and so when you hit that you have the option between classic sport progressive and understated so understated is going to be your minimalist design. Progressive is what I've left it on this drive because that's my favorite setup. Then there's sport and there's classic, of course, if you like that classic style design, but it really allows you to customize the gauges to make it your own. And that's why I love it. So absolutely love that in case I didn't mention to you that I did already. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and touch on overall interior quality. First thing I noticed, panorama roof coming standard on the CLA 250. That is a very large moonroof going all the way into the back seats. Love that. Dual zone climate control also coming standard. Universal garage door opener goes for $280. You can find up to three different garage doors located just underneath the rear of your mirror. We do have that today. Wireless phone charger we also have that is located just in front of the cup holders. That's always nice. 64 color ambient lighting is an option for $310 and an option I would recommend. Again, we have that one today. Completely changes the mood of the car, especially at night. And I will say Mercedes-Benz has the very very best ambient lighting displays that I've experienced in my last 500 cars I've reviewed. And still to this day, Mercedes-Benz does ambient lighting the best, in my opinion. One of the best parts about the ambient lighting, though, is the ambient lighting around the circular air vents in the middle there. You never see that on any other manufacturer, but you do on Mercedes-Benz, and I love that. But overall, perfectly fine design. You have some contrast stitching up on the dash up here. I like the silver design as well, incorporated with the ambient lighting. It definitely looks good. Very nice look to it. You have a phone charger 
standard 12 volt power outlet, of course your cup holders. And within the center armrest, there's a decent amount of storage as well as two phone charging ports in there as well. And if you look up on the roof, you do have an overhead sunglass holder there too. So when it comes to interior quality, Mercedes-Benz definitely always gets it right. But now let's go ahead now and take a look at the tech display on this one. And so like I was mentioning to you guys, you can get either a seven inch display that comes standard or the 10 and a quarter inch with the premium package. That of course is what you're looking at right now. To control that again, it is a touchscreen display, but you can also control it using the touchpad controller and buttons located just behind the cup holders. And there's always Mercedes-Benz voice control. You say, Hi, Mercedes, and then you can basically tell it whatever you wanted to do. But nonetheless, Bluetooth audio streaming coming standard, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system is available with the multimedia package, I guess for $1,150. Again, you could check out your ambient lighting colors up there. And again, 64 different colors. That is a lot. And that is really the benchmark for all other manufacturers out there as well. You can check out your climate control settings up there, radio information as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, Eight speakers is the standard setup, but there is an optional sound system. That is the 12 speaker Burmester sound system that goes for $850. It comes with 590 watts, nine channel digital amplifier. That's not the one we have today though. We do have the eight speaker standard sound system. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Quite honestly, I would be perfectly fine with that sound system. Yeah, it's not the upgraded one, but plenty of bass, plenty of clarity. Really, that is just fine for me. So no issues with that standard sound system on the CLA there. But so then last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the CLA in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines. Couple different views come standard and the camera actually comes out of the Mercedes Benz logo. It tilts out. So if you hear a sound when you put it in reverse, that is what that is. A lot of manufacturers do it that way but did want to mention parking assistance package goes for $1,090 that is what's going to give you the surround view monitor if you wanted to go that route but as always that is going to lead us into safety and so to start front side side curtain airbags come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats tire pressure monitoring system also comes standard there is a driver assistance package that goes for $2,250 that is going to to give you essentially everything, including adaptive cruise control, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, brake assist, automatic emergency braking, speed limit recognition, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, lane change assist, pre-safe plus pre-safe sound, and route based speed adaptation. So that is essentially the safety package that is all inclusive. So that is the one you're going to want to go with for that. But in the end, when it comes to my final thoughts, I will say plenty of acceleration very much so surprised me when it comes to the acceleration, especially with this being the 250. So well done Mercedes-Benz for that. Love the ambient lighting on this one. Love all the tech as well. These gauges are absolutely amazing. I love that you can configure that. One of the constructive criticisms, perhaps I would say, is have more of those safety features that I mentioned in that last package actually come standard on the CLA, like blind spot monitor. I think that is one thing that should come standard at this price point but still if you're buying a mercedes-benz i guess who really cares about a couple bucks a couple thousand bucks really but anyways very nice interior quality as well overall i'm very impressed with this one plenty of power again so definitely one to consider so that is about it for this one though you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all sorry about this awkward angle i usually put the camera over here but there's a sticker on the window so i can't but anyways do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold.